Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video about the XL Cambio Gear 15 speed bicycle transmission, which was manufactured by a company outside of Chicago called XL. This device consisted of 15 gears on the front chain ring where you pedal. It operated by means of a completely different mechanism than does a derailleur or a planetary epicyclic transmission such as a Sturmey Archer or a Roloff. It is about as light as a derailleur system. It is made out of DuPont Zytel which is a kind of plastic. It is unusual in that there are strands of fiberglass embedded inside of nylon and the presence of the fiberglass chopped up imparts strength to the plastic in much the same manner as does rebar inside of concrete. You can see the inside plate here which has spirals and these spirals act very much as inclined planes and there are bumps on them and these are stopping places. And on the outside of this you can see what looks a little bit like a chain ring but it's not for teeth. This is the brake. I'll explain that in a little bit. We're looking at the inside and this is a circular plate and there are teeth in the middle and this is the outside and you see six radial spokes. Inside of these six radial spokes there are slots and the segments can go up and down those six spokes. And in the same manner those same exact segments can go up and down the inclined planes of the spirals and they're sort of locked into position in that manner. Here you can see one of them. It is uh, a little stud, a rectangular piece of plastic that sticks out and locks it into place. And then further along here's another one. There are six all together. And the way this thing works is you've got a brake on your handlebar. It looks just like the gear changer mechanism and there's a shrouded cable and this shrouded cable goes down to a brake and the brake goes around your down tube and it looks like the front derailleur a little bit and there's a silver metal stud that sticks out and when you pull the brake lever this silver metal stud will engage any one of those teeth and stop this inside plate from rotating. But remember you're still pedaling and you're pedaling and the crank goes around and also the outside plate is going around also but this inside plate will be stopped from rotating and when it does the six segments will watch what happens. Here they are contracting and getting smaller. The smallest chain ring on the front would correspond to a low gear setting and the largest chain ring on the front would correspond to a high gear setting and there are 15 such diameters. There are six segments so the chain rings themselves are not exactly circular they are hexagonal and there's a little bit of flutter. Not every one of the segments even has teeth. Only two of them do. And let's see if I can peer inside. You can see this one segment here has teeth and all the way around to the other side you can see the other segment over here that has teeth. The rest of them are just placeholders. They're dummies. And it works very, very well. It never clashes. It uh, never locks up. It never comes off. Uh, the chain is just regular chain. There is excess chain of course when the chain ring is very very small and to take up the excess chain there is a take up cage that's very much like a derailleur. But it doesn't move. It just takes up chain. This was invented by Royce Husted, an engineer and he is very smart to have figured out this geometry so exactly. It works just flawlessly. It works flawlessly but the device was not a su success on the market. 6,000 of them were made for an Australian test market and for whatever reason and I do not know why this device was not sold in large numbers. It has been uh, withdrawn from the market. 